Hi everyone. In this video, we will uh, just check about forms, form level sections. In service now, we have something called sections. So if we see this particular incident, okay, on incident table we have these many sections created. So if we see one of the example is like on incident table we have something called related records. In the related records we have the four fields attached. Okay, maybe it could be change, it could be problem, it could be something parent incident and all. Okay, and in our video we will try to cover how to create this kind of sections. It is very easy one. And second thing is how we can control these sections using script. Okay, even in UA policy also you can control it. Sections will be controlled there. But mainly we will see from client script side how we can uh, control the sections visibility. Okay, so first uh, I have one custom table that I created. So this is the custom table. Okay, and in that custom table there is already one section created. Okay, now I am going to create one more section. Okay, so first of all how to create a section. Okay, so go to the table or a form and then right click. Go to form design. So this is where you can create a section or generally sections will go and store in sections table okay under system UI. So this is also another way but I prefer to go from design okay sections right. So from here also you can create it but the easiest way is here. So come to form design. So here in our form there is one already a section created okay with these four fields. Now I want to create one more section. So see this button here plus so the plus symbol will is telling you like add a new section after section 2 so it is section 1 this is section 2 now the one which we are going to create is section 3 so section is created and I'll just give a name called interview okay this purpose of this application is to support the uh, job seekers for their query so interview I'm just giving okay maybe interview uh, details I will also say details something I'm just keeping okay and name and here I created two fields regarding the job uh, joining date and slots okay so here also we have control like you can see one column way one column way or you can see two column way okay so you, it is up to you how you want to see so if it is two column maybe you can see the both sides like this okay so this is how you can create a section from the table okay for view also so you can create sections for different different views okay but we are creating under default view okay and we added two fields so just let's save it and then see how it will be reflecting in the form so in the same record you can just refresh it okay the section that we just created will be visible with the fields that we attached so interview details and slots okay so this is this is the basic thing about section creation okay how to create a section Okay. and also where the sections will store generally sections will go on store in the section table okay this is the table just get the table name also for a general practice okay we need to understand the table names always okay and whatever we created the section so just see whether the section is coming up or not we just created one section and this is a section okay and if you just go and see the section details okay it will be having the name everything but main important thing is the position Okay, this is also one of the important for our scripting, but we can use uh, this one and this section is having two things and it is splitted. So what does it mean is, okay, just go here to the, our form and then see the same thing in form layout. Right, so in the form layout, the view that you got created, just select the interview detail section. So interview detail section is having these things, so joining date slots and a split between it what does it mean is okay a split is something like it is showing in two two uh yeah it is showing in two uh two layouts right joining and slot if it is showing in one layout then there is no split if it is showing in two layouts means there is a split between that so that's what split is if you remove split it will come in one way okay that is the meaning so the same thing also showing in this particular section elements so that's all about section okay it's very easy now the second part is we need to take one scenario and show or hide the sections from script okay so what is our scenario is okay uh, our scenario is like there is one entitlement number enrollment number 
okay for every every student or for every job seeker okay if they want to uh, raise a request if they have a enrollment number they have to select this one and then they will enter the enrollment number okay something like this okay and if they enter the enrollment number we will see it so there is another logic also implemented to check the enrollment number character so okay, it should be not having any special character that doesn't matter for our requirement okay so our requirement is if they selected the enrollment number so i will i am writing it okay if requirement okay if enrollment number is checked okay then show the details show the section okay interview details and vice versa if it is not checked then hide it if not hide the section okay so this is our business requirement what does it mean is like if if enrollment is completed is checked then i want to see this particular tab here means section here if it is false then i should not see this is what our requirement so at is as it is a a form level it is a client script and it also depends on the field chain so we can write using on change client script so let's write a simple on change client script okay so see here i'll just go and write client script from here this is okay now write new and then get the field name it is u underscore enrollment underscore no sorry it is u underscore enrollment underscore completed we need to get the control of it okay so let's take this way okay section visibility i will name it okay and then type anything is fine but uh, generally there is some limitation we can just ignore it later we can see that part okay and then here on change of enrollment number yes we need to do this one okay and then here write the code so i just save it first okay first thing is first i can use new name new value to whatever whatever the value it is getting for the enrollment number so also i this is my standard practice okay i will just use a variable and get the value of it so g form get value of enrollment number enrollment completed so i'll get the enrollment completed okay and just print it once so whether it is coming fine or not okay so let's see right just refresh here and then okay, this is how it is like and whenever on change of this field it will the script will run and we kept an alert okay if it is checked it should uh, it should say true but give me one second did i save it on change of enrollment or enroll yeah i think it's enrollment completed So the enrollment completed is selected. So whenever the enrollment completed is checked, it will give that message from alert. So alert equal to true. Okay. And it is true now. So the value is always Boolean, true or false. Now I check it. So it's false, true or false. So we are good. So now the script is fine. So value is getting it. Now write the other things. Okay. So now I also take one more variable to get the control of sections. So add sections. Okay. Equal to g form okay for sections we have few uh few methods okay one is section names and other one is i will take one more okay where sections okay one equal to g form okay get sections So the get section will give you the object of the section and get section names will give you the names of the section. So what does it mean? Okay. So just print them in order to understand. Okay. We may need names or object. Anything is fine. But for our operation, 
names would be prefer preferable okay, I'm just printing both of them one is uh, names and second one is uh, the second one right get section so what get section get section names will print you that is the first important thing we are learning now okay so when I say refresh on change of this field okay it is get section names the first two function from the code get get section names is printing the names of the uh, names of the sections so we may need this second name so I'm just copy paste this one okay because in our script we need this name and second thing is get sections get sections will give the objects of it so it have three it is showing three here but it, it is two one more one default game okay so it gives the objects get sections gives the object so if you just go and see okay just type one more time okay the so get sections returns the elements of the form section in an array okay so it is also an array it is also an array so how we use them let's see okay now we see how we are going to use these values in our script so I don't want these two so I can comment them or I can remove them okay so if okay n number so if it is true then I want to do some action so if it is true okay do some job else okay, do the reverse job so either one is first so here what I will do is g form okay set section display so in order to display a section either you want to show it or hide it you can use it so set <coughs> set display section display and section name and value right section name so what is the section name that we are going to do the second section interview details what is the backend name it is the backend name right so that is the reason I pasted here and you can get the section names using section name function right so use this one like this okay and I want to make it to uh, true when it is true okay and I want to make it false when it's false so if it is false means if it is checkbox is false I don't want to show it so false so this is our this is our actual requirement okay so now test it let's arrange it properly so that it looks good <coughs> so uh, this is the main function that you either hide or either show okay so like this you can just save it now come back and refresh it okay so there would you can also write a kind kind of uh, onload client script to basically hide it okay and then it will not hide and whenever you check it it will show okay I think we written written we okay so I think we write in a reverse way where is that enrollment completed true so I think we did something wrong if it is enrollment equal to true then visible equal to true enrollment equal to false okay so now I'm testing it again yeah no enter so it went to false yeah it is hiding it okay and when it is no enter again every time it is true some code is shouldn't So now by default it shows yes yes centered it is showing 
okay and no entered okay it will hide so this is our business requirement whenever the enrollment field is checked okay so set uh, section display is true so it is showing this field okay and whenever this field is false means else condition okay set section display equal to false that means it will hide so this is the main functionality that we have it as per uh, requirement now one notice is under this section if any mandatory fields are there let's say slots is a mandatory field okay and slots is a mandatory field and you are trying to hide it okay section false okay when you are trying to hide it if it if the section have any mandatory fields it will not allow you to hide in that case you need to write one more line to set mandatory false of that particular field and then <coughs> Okay. and then you need to hide the section then only it will work so this you we need to take care of whenever we are doing this kind of operations okay so this is pretty much about uh, sections okay how to create a section and how to control the visibility of section in a form level okay thank you